This video will demonstrate how to use the drag and drop onto an image question type within a Moodle quiz. So teachers may um, be used to using a worksheet where they have students label a diagram. Teachers have asked, how do I do that within a Moodle quiz? Well, there is a feature that allows you to do that. So um, I'll give an example here on this uh, Moodle course page. So I've got a quiz here and I want to add a diagram for students to label. So I'm just going to open up the quiz page and then as a teacher on the left hand side I'm going to click on administration so go to your administration block and choose edit quiz um, once I'm in my edit quiz off on the right hand side I'm going to add a new question to this quiz so I'm going to click add add a new question and then on your list of different question types typically we're using multiple choice or matching um, in this case, I'm going to use one called drag and drop onto image. So I'll select that and then click the add button. Um, just like with your other Moodle quizzes, you'll give this um, question a name. Again, students don't see the question name, so I'm just going to call this um, water cycle. What students do see is the question text. So this gives the teacher a quick little reminder what this question is about. The question text is the actual question that students will see on the quiz. So I'll type in my question, or in this case it's a statement to label each stage of the water cycle. And then as I go um, scroll down below, um, I'm just going to leave general feedback so I'm not going to enter anything there. Um, oops, I forgot up on top here. I like to click this expand all. So it'll let me see all of the different choices that I have down below here. So in the preview section, the first thing I need to do is upload the diagram that I'm going to have students label. So in this case, I just did a Google search for a blank water cycle um, image. I've downloaded that. And now over here on my Moodle quiz, I'm just going to say choose a file. I'm going to upload a file and then choose the file button. And I've um, saved it to my desktop. So I got water cycle and I'll click open. Um, now I'll upload the file. And you can see that image is uploaded to this question. Um, down below here where it says draggable items, um, students will have their answer choices listed kind of like a word bank underneath the image. So you can choose to shuffle those so that every time they answer that question those answer choices will be in a different order. So that's an option for you. And now your draggable items, these will appear as boxes underneath your image. Um, so you're not going to be uploading images, although you certainly could. Instead it's easiest just to say draggable text. So I'm going to change it from an image to draggable text, and then you're going to put in your first label. In this case, it's going to be evaporation. I'm going to go down to item number two. Again, change that from an image to text. Put in your second label. In this case, it's going to be condensation. Go down and repeat the same thing for each one of your labels. And you can continue on for as many labels as you would like. Um, by default, it gives you six, but you can continue to add more draggable lab labels if you would like or need to. Um, once that is completed, you now have your drop zones. Your drop zones um, basically tell that image where the labels belong. So for drop zone number one, I'm going to choose evaporation. Drop zone number two, I'll choose condensation. And as I'm doing this, what I want you to notice is if I scroll back up to the image, it's placing that word bank underneath the image for each one of my um, drop zone areas. So I'll say precipitation and accumulation. Now I should have four labels underneath my image. Now I have to tell the question, where do these labels belong? So evaporation would be right here. Condensation would be the clouds. 
precipitation over here with the rain, accumulation flowing back into the lake. Um, so now that I have those labeled, and this is why I like to shuffle those items because that way they won't appear in order if I happen to label those in order. Um, down below, being I move those around, now these say the coordinates on the image where those belong. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I will click Save Changes. So now I have my second question on my quiz. Off on the left hand side, I can go to the administration block again and choose preview to see what this question will look like for students or what this quiz will look like for students. So you can see I got a traditional uh, multiple choice question for the first one um, where they can choose their answer. And then down below here is my drag and drop question type. So you can see that being I chose shuffle, it mixed up the labels. And I can now go over here, and when I hover over that rectangle, see how the rectangle highlights? And when I let go, it'll put it in that rectangular box. I can go here and continue putting those around. If I decide um, that's not where I want it, I can click and drag and move that. So these aren't locked in answers, just like your multiple choice are not locked in answers until the student clicks Finish Attempt. This video demonstrated how to use the drag and drop onto an image question type for a Moodle quiz.